But the water mixed with it, it became mud, and Rasul Sallallahu was doing sajdah in that mud. So he saw the picture, i.e., 21st night was Laylatul Qadr, in that occasion. So we never know which one it is, 21, 23, 25, but at the same time, today could definitely be Laylatul Qadr. As such, you want to make sure that you take advantage of it. Um, the best time to take advantage of it is the whole night really, but the last third of the night. And Qiyamul Layl, if you can spend the time, tomorrow's a holiday, you don't have work, see if you can have a double espresso, I have a double espresso today. You know, see if you can stay up the whole night, inshallah, and then pray some Qiyamul Layl and, and connect the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, but even more important than that, you need to do actions that keeps your slate clean in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't backbite, don't lie, don't commit any sins, at least today or tonight. At the very least, who fast, your sins are forgiven. You want to get these sorts of good deeds when your sins are forgiven. You take those deeds, your sins are forgiven, and then you do Qiyamul Layl more likely to get Laylatul Qadr. Yes or no? If you're starting off with a clean slate, and I kid you not, there's another hadith of Rasulullah He said, when you give charity, you wipe some sins. Do you see what I'm saying? So these things are opportunities for us we can't lose out.